Hello friends. Welcome to my new Java programming tutorial series video. Today, we will discuss, Java 7 new feature, using the try with resources block to improve exception handling code. Let's move ahead to Eclipse and see how this concept works. Friends. In order to demonstrate working of try with resource block, let's create a Java class. We will name it as, try with resource. Provided a main method, to demonstrate try with resource block working. Click finish. Friends. Before Java 7, the code required for properly opening and closing resources, such as java.io.inputStream or java.io.reader, was quite verbose and prone to errors. Let's see through a Java code. Create a reader class reference variable and assign a null value to it. Import java.io.reader class. Moving ahead. Create an instance of file reader and provide it a name of file say, test.txt file reader instantiation throws an exception as file not found exception let's handle it with try and catch block In the catch block, let's catch file not found exception by its super class IO exception instance. In the catch block, let's print stack trace of the exception occurred. In the try block, after creation of file reader instance, we usually write code for file reading operations. Usually after performing file reading operations, it is required to close file reader instance. The file reader instance is very expensive and needs to be closed in finally block. Let's write finally block code to close file reader. In order to handle error prone code, first null check is to be provided for file reader instance. And then close the file reader through close method. Moving ahead. Close method throws a checked exception by name. IO exception. Let's provide a try catch block around a close method. In catch block, IO exception is caught and its stack trace is printed. Friends, if you see code in finally block, it can lead to null pointer exception if null check is skipped. This block also encounters yet another try catch which is sort of bloated code and not developer friendly. With coming of Java 7, when working with resources that need to be opened and closed, the try with resource block is used and implemented by first. Creating the try block and declaring the resources to be managed. Second. Using the resource within the try block. Let's see it through a Java code. Try keyword is followed by open and close round brackets. In the round brackets, we provide instantiation of the resources which we want to close after performing operations. 
In our case, file reader is the resource which we want to close after performing reading operations. Moving ahead. Provide a catch block to handle file not found exception. And that's it, Java automatically closes the resource for you. You don't have to handle it through finally block. This concept is called as automatic resource management. This concept works through an interface called as java.io.autoclosable. File reader implements it and that makes it a resource for being treated as auto-closable. So friends, go through this video two to three times so that, using the try with resources block to improve exception handling code concept gets more clear to you. Hope you like this video. Please give one minute to like, share, comment or subscribe my channel, or you can visit my website at www.hubberspot.com.